hello 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 welcome back last time we were here we opened up the doors we cut out the doors and we opened up the windows because we are making a clothing store so if you're new here and you have not yet seen our first video that shows you how to uh, actually edit grab and edit this building go check it out if you're a super beginner then I would strongly encourage you to check out the first series that we did which shows you how to it goes a lot slower and shows you how to use blender and I talked through a lot of the you know buttons to press and you know talk to a lot slower on how to how to utilize each program today we uh, we are going to work on our collisions removing removing them and the occlusions we should have enough time to get rid of the occlusions too all right so we are going to head back into blender now um because we already got everything that we need from cold walker so let's go into blender um here is what we did last time now we need to go over here to our collisions and go edit those so i'm just going to basically drag myself across the screen so i can put myself closer here's where we actually need to be and i'm just going to drag myself to it i do not have a full-size keyboard y'all i got one coming in the mail i'm so excited i'm finally getting a decent full-size keyboard so I, i'll be able to do everything that i need to do uh we don't have any collisions on the inside that we need to remove thank god at least yet for this creation we don't because we're just going to go to about we're going to build it to about here okay though we could definitely go all the way but yeah there's not really much to remove if we were adding it to this portion we would definitely have to get rid of this wall but we're not going to worry about that this legit could be like, like a mall nice shopping center mall like type of is something here yeah that's the roof type of thing going on all right i'm just trying to position myself back to where i was so that we can get rid of the doors so we're gonna work with um whatever let's see if we hide this one this is what we have left all right we'll work with this first um we're going to remove all of this we won't remove the collisions on the windows because why leave those but we will remove all the boxes that make up the entrance to the door there's no need for us to be walking through i mean no need for us not to be able to walk through so basically what I did was I hid the big, the bigger one. I hid this one, the one that starts with H E I underscore B H one underscore zero nine underscore zero. This is the one I'm hiding, and I'm just gonna select the box and press X and then delete. I believe all of these are boxes. Yeah, all of these are boxes, which makes the editing these collisions easy. So I'm basically just gonna delete all the boxes. This a lot. Get them all. Okay, do we want let's get rid of this too? Wait, what's this? And that. All right, that's totally all. Wait, do we want to get rid of that? Yeah, why not? Let's get rid of that. It was probably. Wait, let's leave that one. Because <laughs> I'm thinking it might be. I mean, it don't really matter, but it does. I'm thinking that might be where the vent is. There's like a vent up there. I'm not sure if we need that one. The reason why I'm leaving the top one, I'm not going to keep that. The reason why I'm leaving that one is because if there that is for the vent, then this has a collision material. And 
if we remove it when i mean nobody really is going to notice that if you shoot through it it's going to go straight through but if you do shoot it this is going to react to it i don't know i'm gonna get rid of it <laughs> i'm gonna get rid of it but i no no i'm not no i'm not i'm gonna keep that one i'm gonna keep that one. i'm so sorry i'm gonna keep this one because if we were to go back to the actual building let me save this let's just go back and look at the building really quickly okay i saved it whose love is taking this toll on me i have no choice okay so you see what i mean so you got this portion and you got that portion so it should react because we didn't delete that so when when we are in the city in your server you want it to the collision that collision to still be there oh my god we're gonna get there so with that being said i might bring the other one back too so like let's unhide this for a second okay okay so no that's good that's good that's good i think i think that's good enough all right we'll leave that one we'll leave this one all right and now we can hide that so that we can only see this one we're gonna go start editing the this one the top one hei the one that starts with hei underscore b underscore bh1 we're gonna delete those boxes this one might be a little bit more complex but we'll see hopefully not do not delete the ground collision please if it's a, and it's not even a box so perfect um that's not one, one that we want to delete and i think I'm thinking that's it. I'm thinking that's all we want to get rid of. Because this right here is the, the wall for the entrance. Yeah. We're going to leave this. If for whatever reason we need to make additional changes, we can do that. But we're going to leave that like it is. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, everything else should be muted. Yeah. I'm going to leave that. All right. So both collision files have been edited. The only thing we really needed to edit was the door. Um, now that we've done that, we're gonna unhide. Wait, hold up. Okay, perfect. Just making sure. After I unhid everything, that everything, the opening was there. All right. So we're gonna export this the same way that we exported our building yesterday. So you're gonna right click on one of the collisions, select hierarchy, press V, and then make sure you're in object mode. Go to export Kowaka XML. And we're going to, we're in exports, blender exports, but we're, this just says the building exterior. Now we need the collision, carry the folder for collision. Bro, uh, well, let me do this. I want to S at the end open it and then save okay so you need to grab both collisions select the hierarchy of both and then v export coworker xml and we're exported to that collisions folder all right now go to the rpf explorer go to uh Leo, your leopold's folder that you have all everything that you're converting and then blender exports we're going to drag in those two files that we just exported from blender and you can view them in cold walker by double clicking on it you'll see that the window is gone not the window the door entrance is open now and it should be like that for both right there the door entry is open now we need to put these two files in our stream folder okay so now that we put those in our stream folder we are going to open up cold walker i still have i have cold walker open already but i will close it just so for the sake of you all i will close it from initial from when i had it and i'll open it and now you know we'll just go through the motions We are going to go into Cold Walker and um, what we need to do is get the path, file path 
for our stream folder and basically copy that path and then once cold walker is open we are going to open go to the location of where the store is it's here and then you are going to open the folder your stream folder in code walker i'm going to paste the pa file path that i um got copy and then press enter and then click select folder you'll see that now this is here all right now that is here we are going to come over here to the side menu go to selection or move this out of the way for a moment go to selection and turn on the occlusion your dlc needs to be enabled for this to work properly what i am going to do now is basically we have these red triangles make sure i'm going to turn on make it so that i can select them by uh, turning on the select objects tool and then the move tool um move this down um what i want to do first like, let's just go inside so i can see what it is okay so it's like a wall on the front side or multiple triangles on the front side and then same thing on this side i think that is all the occlusions we need for to remove for wait no then we have some on this side too so it's like a box um and then it goes around there okay all right so we're just going to select them you how do you select them um you hover over it and you and then you right click so if you notice that when i hover and i right click to select that you can see that it's moving this is right here this right here you're going to basically once you move it it should get um say delete triangle we're going to delete that triangle and do the same thing for the other one if you can see it don't mistake the ones down below for it so make sure you can see it and then you can move it just to be certain that it is the right one and then delete triangle i think there might be one more if i'm not mistaken this looks like and it's like or a few more actually we're going to delete that one and we're going to do this one too just to be sure that we got all the ones that we need for this particular interior um okay now wait, let me just make this smaller or something good grief it's in the way let's put it here um we need to get the ones for the window and get that one delete triangle and then this one also delete triangle and then there are some also on this back wall but you can't really see you have to really get close to be able to see it and you come outside you will notice this right there delete triangle i think hard to really see it okay there it is position yourself so that you can see it delete triangle and i think that should be all of them for this if we notice any more like that is there and that really depends we probably should get rid of that box yeah it's because it will get in the way wait and no there's some on top too i didn't realize it some on top too so let's get rid of these you have to be pay special attention to make sure you get them all all the ones that are at least blocking the view this one yeah and then we'll get rid of this box so it's gonna we're gonna have like two occlusion flag um flags no, not flags um y maps and we'll get should we do this one too um we're pretty much gonna start right here so we don't have to do the ones in the back 
and that should be all of them so when we update our stream folder everything should look normal except for back here you won't be able to see all the way back here because these are occlusions um we just can't see this the, the front side of the face but you should be able to at the very least see through this wall and this wall if you cannot see to your out to through your to your outside world properly then you probably did not delete the occlusion okay the same over here but again we're not going to build in this whole space so we don't have to go and try and get rid of all of them all right now come back to this little window i'm gonna make it back you know a normal size you will see that you now have two y maps that have been added oh wait maybe it's just one hmm, okay i guess it's just one i thought it was going to do two because there was a box but i guess they are all a part of the same um y map so cool no worries click on that y map and then click the save button this is the name of that occlusion y map we are not going to change it we are still in our stream folder it, you don't have to go and you know find the folder it should, it should automatically populate and just click save all right now that we've done that we are going to update our, our server resource and test this out in our server so the goal should be you should be able to walk through your entrance and you should be able to see through to the outside world properly all right so i will i'm going to you don't have to put anything else in anything in rpf explorer just drag update your resource folder and then we're gonna i'm gonna meet you in the server and so that we can test it out okay all right so we are back and I can see that it's already working. Um, I didn't remove the, the, the occlusions on the floor, so you will see a little bit of flickering there. Um, it's nothing to worry about unless when we actually actually build our floor, there's an issue. Uh, it shouldn't be though, because I'm going to basically snap it to fit it in there perfectly. But if you look, you now we can see. We can see through the building. We can see through like we're supposed to. Why did she scare me? All right, so this is what we wanted. Head in the clouds again, huh? We wanted it to be like this. All right, so now that we have, yeah, my mouse is acting up. Have a new mouse in the mail too, thank God. So today, what we did? Oh wait, let me show y'all that we can actually go through and fall through. <laughs> so that was the goal, right? The oh, fall through, I'm be able to walk then. through the door. I forgot. And you can walk through and fall through. Um, when I send the email, call me. All right. All right. So today we edited the collision so that we can actually get through the building, actually walk in. We also uh, removed the occlusion so that when we're in, the building won't be flickering and so on and so forth. We'll have to definitely do some testing uh, once we build the actual MLO to make sure we remove the, all the occlusions that we need uh, to remove. But that's going to wrap it up for today's uh, tutorial. In our next video, we are going to build the interior and um, texture. All right. I will see you all next time. If you enjoyed today's tutorial and you found it helpful, please leave a like. Uh, comment and subscribe let me know what you enjoyed what you um if you have any questions join a discord so then you can get help um if you want to dive a little bit a little bit deeper join the ultimate mlo course um to register just join the discord and open a ticket all right love you i'll see y'all next time